Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, and welcome to this edition of Growing Wisdom. I'm here today with Heidi Cope, and we're at Stonegate Gardens in Lincoln, and Heidi and I are going to be discussing conifers today. So, Dave, this is one of our conifer gardens, and what I love about this garden is that it actually is filled with a lot of conifers that like a lot of sun, but this is sort of a shade garden. It's got a lot of hostas, it's got a lot of perennials, but we've got conifers that do well in bright, indirect light, which is what this is. So one of the great things about this little ground cover fir is that it has a beautiful underside to the needles, this silvery, silvery needle, which is pretty characteristic of a lot of the Korean firs. Yeah, this is a great little U. It's got this wonderful little striped variegation. It's a green and yellow needle, and it's just really striking. Yeah, I mean, the yellow is one of those colors in the garden that people either love or don't love, and uh, I happen to love it. I think it looks great. I mean, yeah. you've got the Japanese painted fern in front of here, and I like the contrast Beautiful. of all those different colors like I that. I do, too. This plant actually is a int very interesting conifer because, like, un unlike most conifers, it loses its needles in the winter. It's a deciduous conifer, and these are some of the most primeval, primitive plants on Earth. Does it get fall color since it loses its needles? It does. It has a gold fall color. Yeah. All right, so Heidi, I, I made a stop here because I actually have this. and. Yep. A little bit of a temperamental plant, but the blue is phenomenal. It is. It's a gorgeous, creeping, noble fir, blue noble fir. But they do just have this gorgeous um, structure, this architectural structure, and a great blue. You can't beat it. All right, so here we have some big weeping conifers, plus this gorgeous weeping Japanese maple. but. That right there is a weeping Norway spruce. I think that's just pendula. And that gets quite broad and wide. And this beautiful sergeant hemlock again that is just, just gorgeous coming over the rocks. So I love this spot. Uh, this beautiful gold threadleaf cypress, which is actually considered a dwarf, but you can see it's now seven, seven feet, something like that. It's a great little conifer. And this, which is one of my favorites, Cryptomeria second sugi, which has gold tips and this wonderful, graceful, almost weeping habit is a very fast growing, large tree and it's just spectacular. Nice cones, like you said, yellow here, yellow on the thread leaf. So we've yep. seen blue, we've seen yellow, of Deep course green. green. Some re a really yeah. wide variety of colors with yeah. the conifers. Yeah, and mixed together, they can be just so striking. Heidi, you've shown us so many great conifers, and the question I have, of course, is no one wants them to die. So how do I care for these? Every conifer is different. There are some that handle shade more than others. Some, most of them prefer quite a bit of sun. But you really need to make sure when, before you purchase or find a conifer that you like, that you know you have a spot for it. Many of them like well-drained soil, but some of them need to be moist. So you really need to do your, do your homework and put the right plant in the right place. And, and that's, that's, I think, the key thing, the right plant for the right place. Yeah. Don't force a plant that likes it dry yeah. in a wet spot. Yeah. Because people say, well, I love the plant, I'm just going to put it here, and then two yeah. years later, you don't have your plant anymore. Well, and really, a healthy plant that you aren't that crazy about is going to look so much better than a plant you're crazy about that's just not thriving. So. Great, great point. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of Growing Wisdom, and gotten a few nuggets of information about conifers for you, and I want to thank you, Heidi. This was terrific. My Some pleasure. Great information. My pleasure. Come back every week for all of our videos here at Growing Wisdom.